Hello and welcome. I have an amazing partner in crime today with me here today. Uh, this so for Soul Parent Volume Two book project. This is Andy Heller. He teaches real estate investing to new and seasoned investors around the country and runs a successful invest international freight forwarding company. Andy has been on the podcast three times, and because he has a powerful message to share, he really fills the gap that is missing right now for people who are going through divorce. His book, Take the High Road Divorce, Divorce for Compassion for Yourself and Your Family, is, has an important testament that kind of highlights the voices of everybody across the industry and allows the person who is going through divorce to, to have this kind of ro role book. And I, I am so excited that he decided to join us in the Soul Parent Book Project. So welcome, Andy. Arena, thank you for having me, and it's a pleasure. And any time you call me with a request, my answer will be yes. I'll make it easy for you. Thank you, thank you. So please share with us, why did you say yes to become part of the book project? Well, what really intrigued me about your project, Arena, was I saw your project with Soul Parent a lot like what I did with my book. So when I got went through my own divorce, I, I read countless other books, and I got a nugget here, a nugget there, a nugget here, a nugget there. The book from the attorney was good for this nugget. The book from the therapist was good for that nugget. And I, th I saw a gap in the divorce book space. So my book was comprehensive, where I interviewed all these field experts, took the best of their guidance, and organized this into 46 tips and strategies. I kind of looked at Soul Parent the same way. So what you guys are kind of doing is you're going out to all these authors that you're impressed with, and you're saying, give me your best, and your best only. And then you take this great book, and you collect the best chapters contributed, the most powerful chapters from all these different respected authors. So for, for the people who are lucky enough to pick up your book, you're getting truly the best of the best as you've taken the time to organize that and go out and and bring in multiple experts into one simple read. So I kind of looked at it very similar to what I tried to do myself. And I thought my project was a, a positive endeavor. So therefore, there was no basis for me not to say yes. Awesome. And I, I love for having you. Thank you. What was the best part about writing the book? The best part about writing the book, and I don't mean to sound corny, was, you know, my own divorce was kind of challenging. It was a high conflict divorce. And a lot of people helped me. And when I saw a gap in the divorce book space, I felt uniquely able to fill that gap and help others. Um, and I know that sounds kind of corny, but I, uh, like you said in the introduction, I've got a successful career. I've, I've done very well. Um, this is something where there's not a, a monetary component on the back end. I just wrote a book that I think can help a lot of people. And I, based on the traction my book is getting, I think I'm succeeding there. So that's why uh, I just felt that um, this is my give back. Awesome. awesome. And what would you say was the challenging part about writing? Well, the challenging part, uh, I, I have to say, uh, the part about my intro, when you introduced me that I'm going to add to that is, I co authored two best selling real estate investing books over 20 years ago. And I, I swore I would never write a book again. Because personally, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a perfectionist. So I'm not just going to write something. It better be good. All right. So the, if you suffer from perfectionist syndrome, the last thing you ever want to do is write a book. <laughs> so when I went through my own divorce, the result in book is the result of really a seven year project of interviews, um, uh, meetings, uh, uh, research. I put so much time into that, and that took me away from other things. Uh, and the, I'm very proud of the result. But the challenging part 
is if you are trying to create something good, it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of research. And that's going to pull you away from whatever else you have going in your life. I'm not a full-time author. This is not how I pay the bills. So the challenging part for me was uh, in creating a quality book that was going to help people. It took tremendous amounts of time and energy. So, and not everybody's up to that. And, and, I will make that promise again, uh, Ms. Serena. I will never write another book. I'll contribute a chapter for for your books, but that's about it. <laughs> All right. Never say never. Yeah, you're right. You're right. What do you want readers of the book to know? What is your key message for single parents? Uh, the key message, I would say, to the, the single parents are that it will get better and you can accelerate that to get to that place where it gets better, it gets easier by the personal work that you do. That can include uh, listen to Arena's podcasts, which are powerful. Read in books like hers, books like mine, uh, investing in a therapist, uh, personal work, and the, the steps that you take will be the most powerful accelerator to landing in that place where you are happy and healthy again. I often explain divorce. It's like uh, you're, you're running a 1,000 yard or 1,000 meter race, all right? The faster you run, the faster you get to that end of that race. The end, the finish line represents where you are landing and restarting your life. And you're at a place where you're healthy, can bring in a new partner, can parent uh, with, uh, with all your energies and, and parent confidently on your own. And it's amazing how different the speed of these racers can be. And you can control your speed on some level based on the personal work that you do. We can't change the drama that you have in your life. Some people have, there are abuse issues involved. Sometimes there are third party issues involved. Um, so that all of us have their own dynamics and you know, Arena and I can't change that. But what I can impress upon all of you is, no matter what is going on in your life, what you can control is the effort that you put in to your own mental health. Um, and again, just the fact that you're listening to this interview means that you're probably doing something that a lot of others are not. But I would also say, don't stop there. Continue to listen to Arena's podcast. Get her book. I would get my book and do other personal work uh, that is available to you to go down that racetrack as fast as possible. The, 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 I'm going to add one final point to that. Many people who are in an unhappy marriage feel that the divorce itself and the stamp begins the process of getting to a better place. I actually don't believe that. I think that divorce stamp is part of the process. Um, and I've met people who I interviewed for my own book that they, they said to me, it was two, three, five or more years after the divorce before they felt like they had their feet on the ground uh, as, a, uh, as a single parent and being able to move out in, in society, date again, et cetera, et cetera. My point here is it does not have to be that long for you. It can be shorter and it is in, intrinsically tied to the personal work that you are willing to do. I think you are so right on that point because they make it so easy to get married. People falsely assume that it is just as easy to get divorced. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. It, it's um, but I you know it, it's funny. One thing that Irina and I both have in common is we are both uh, we got to know the, each other in our three podcasts. We're both glass half full individuals, 
Um, but I can also tell you in my own experience putting my book together, I interviewed dozens of others, divorcees, who are not wired like me, who are not always glass half full, but the resounding messages from them were, were the same. The personal work that was done did help accelerate getting them to a place where they could move on, date again, and, and also parent confidently. Just because you're parenting without your part, your former partner in your own space doesn't mean you are an effective parent. Um, and this, I can speak from my own personal experience, Irina. Um, when I split, that first year parenting on my own was so difficult. My ex was a super mom. She was a great mom, all right? And um, I, I was a good dad, but never on my own. And I didn't have that confidence. Um, I didn't have the benefit of repetition, of dealing with colds on my own multiple time, dealing with uh, a child who is frustrated with homework multiple time, a child who's been had online social media bullying multiple times. But after a year or so, I got that confidence and I, I felt like I, I, there was little I could not handle. Yeah, you're so right. It's all about repetition. Yep, yep. Getting better with each successive turn. And we are, nobody is perfect. We all have our flaws, but it's owning those flaws and doing the thing that you know you are capable of doing. The more you do, the better you become. Yes. Thank you, Andy, so much. I'm so excited for this book launch. Thank you for being a part of it. You add a great deal to this book, to this project, because you bring a wealth of information from your personal experience, from the stories you shared and people you've interviewed. It's a great addition. So I'm really excited. Thank you for being a part of it. And we'll see you soon. My pleasure, Rina. Take care.